Ano ba ang topic na ba natin i-discuss ngayon? At ang topic na to ay tungkol sa understanding the normal curve, distribution, and say scores. So, in this case, or in this topic, we have the properties of the normal probability distribution. So, this is the uh, the look or example or etura ng ating uh, prob ng normal prob probability distribution. So, meron siyang properties. So, number one, the distribution curve is bell-shaped. So, kung mapansin nyo, para siyang kampana. So, that's why this is called a bell shape. Next, number two, the curve is symmetrical about its center. So, symmetrical. Kung anong meron dito, meron din siya dito. Kung ito yung positive side, kung anong meron sa positive side, meron din siya sa negative side. And it has a center of mu. So, this mu, or just not only the mu, the, the mean, the median, and the mode coincide at the center. So, andito siya. So, the mean, the median, and the mode of the normal probability distribution. Next, the width of the curve is determined by the st standard deviation of distribution. So, standard dev uh, deviation is ito yung meron tayo dito. 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So, yung width niya or yung kung gaano siya ka, kalaki is depende sa standard deviation of the distribution. So, the tail of the curve flatten out indefinitely along the horizontal axis, always approaching the x-axis but never touching it. So, that's, uh, that is the curve is asymptotic to the baseline. So, itong sinasabi dito, itong part na to, uh, ito yung ating x-axis, ito yung ating x-axis. Tapos, ito yung curve dito, uh, hindi siya magta-touch dito sa ating x-axis. Ito yung dulo nito. Pero, super lapit, pero hindi siya magta-touch. That's why, it, ang tawag ito is asymptotic. Then, the last is the area under the curve is 1. So, yung area na to under dito is always equal 1. Thus, it represents the probability or the pro proportion of the percentage associated with a specific set of measurement values. So, we have to remember na kapag uh, uh, inad natin yung probability, dapat ang magiging sagot niya is a 1 or 100%. So, the next is the area under the normal curve as we have here from, this is the standard deviation, ito yung tinatawag, yung tinatawag natin standard deviation. We have here the 0 as the center, this is the mean. This is 1, positive 1, 2, 3, and negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. So, from negative 1 to positive 1, it has 68, 0 0.68, 26, or 68.26%. So, from negative to positive 2, it has the 0 0.95.44 or 95.44%. So, from negative 3 to positive 3, the area is uh, 0 0.9974 0 po or 99.74%. So, the table of areas under the normal, normal curve is also known as the say table. So, the say table or the say score is the measure of relative standing. It is calculated by subtracting the x or mu from the measurement x and then dividing the result by s or the, the variance. Oh. So, the final result or the say score represents the distance between a given measurement x and the mean expressed in the standard deviation. So the formula or the rather the four step process in defining the area under the normal curve given at the say value. We have here number one express the given say value in a three digit form. Number two using the say table find the first two digit on the left column. So first two digit later. Malaman natin kung paano gamitin yan. So, we have here number 3, match the third digit with the appropriate column on the right and the read the area or probability at the intersection of the row and column. So, this is the required area. Example natin, we have here define the area that corresponds to Z is equal to 1. Sabi doon, express the given in the three digit form. So, kung ito ay 1, three digit form niya is 1.00. Then, in the table, find the row Z1.00. 0, 0, 0. 
So, in this case, kuha muna tayo ng uh, gamitin natin itong 1 point. So, ito yung 1 point. 1 point. Then, intersection niya is yung yung natira natin 0, 0. So, therefore, this is 1.00. Kaya, tinawag siyang 1.00. Intersection niya is ito. So, the area will be 0.3413. The next is find the area that corresponds to negative 2.58. So, again, it's symmetrical. Kung negative siya, kung anong meron sa kaliwa, magiging ganun din sa kanan. So, that's why we have to use the positive. Kahit gamitin natin yung positive, pares lang sila ng sagot. So, find the row. This is 3 digit na. Naka 3 digit na to. So, we have your 2.5. So, kukunin natin yung 2.5. So, ito yung 2.5. Then, yung natira, which is 0.8 o yung 0.08. Yan. Hanapin lang natin yung 0.08, yung katapat niya. So, ito yung katapat niya. Therefore, the area is 0.4951. That is the area. Next, Z-score is stated to be measure of relative standing. So, the Z-score represent distance from the center measure in the standard deviation units. There are 6 Z-score at the baseline of the normal curve. So, the 3 Z-score from the left of the mean and 3 uh, from the right of the mean. So, the areas under the normal curves are given in terms of Z-values or scores. So, either the Z-score locates X within a sample or within a population. So the formula is here, we have here the for the population, and this is for the population. So Z is equal to X, the score minus mu over standard deviation. And for the sample, we have here the X minus the mean over, uh, or X bar or mean, sample mean over S, which is the sample standard deviation. Yung x natin is the given measurement. The mu is the population mean. So, ito yung population mean. And here is the population standard deviation. Then, ito is the sample mean. And s is the sample standard deviation. Now, ano ba yung pagkaiba ng population, sa, population data sa sample data? Kapag sinabi natin population data, example here in the uh, Philippines, Philippines, yung buong population ng Philippines. That kaya, kaya tinawag siyang population data. is uh, the entire uh, citizen of the Philippines. Sabihin na natin, ayun, lahat na naninirahan sa Pilipinas that is also, also known as the population data. While the sample data, kapag sinabi natin sample data, uh, kukuha lang tayo ng example, ang population natin is yung entire Philippines pero kukuha lang tayo ng sample kunwari sa NCR uh, 20 people sa NCR, 20 people sa Cavite or kung region naman ang gusto natin uh, population versus sample population is the uh, entire Philippines so kunwari uh, the sample data is the sample from the region 1 Sample from Region 2, Sample from Region 3, Sample from Region 4, A, 4, B, so on and so forth. So, population is malaki yung kabuan while the sample is yung maliit lang. The trip, this sample is represent to the population. So, yun yung pagkaka pagkakaiba tong dalawa. So, given natin, example is given the mean, the mu is equal to 15 in the standard deviation, is equal to 4 of the population of the reading score. So, find the save value that corresponds to a score x is equal to 58. So, since ang given natin is population, gamit tayo ng formula. This formula. So, the mu is equal to 50 while the standard deviation is equal to 4 and the x is equal to 58. So, in this case, just plug into the formula. This will be 58 minus 50 divided by 4. So, 58 minus 50 is 4 divided by 4. The answer will be 2. So, the same value that corresponds to the row score of 58 is 2 in the population distribution. So, kung kukonvert natin siya sa graphically, ang ating mean kanina, sabi doon, is our mean is 50. So, ito yung 
Ito yung magiging 0. 0 is uh, 50. Equivalent niya is 50. So, star elevation kanina is uh, uh, according to the given is 4. So, that's why mag add tayo ng 4 to the left and magsusubtract tayo ng 4 to the right. Uh, to the... Uh, balik. So, mag add tayo ng 4 to the right and minus 4 to the left. So, that's why... Kung, ito ang, kung ang mean natin ay 50, this will be 54, 58, and 62. So, minus 4 here, 46, minus 4, 42, minus 4 is 38. So, since ang uh, nakuha natin na uh, x is equal to 58, so it represent in the C-score of 2. So, from the diagram, we can say the score x 58 corresponds to C is equal to 2. So, if it is above the mean. So, we can say that with respect to the mean, the score 58 is above average. Next, we have here locate say value that corresponds to P is score of 39. Given that the mu is equal to 45, the standard deviation is equal to 6. So, magkakaroon tayo na mu is 45, standard deviation is 6, and the score is 39. So, the same. So, we have 39 minus 45. Let's plug in the formula here. Uh, here pala. Divided by 6, so 39 minus 45 is negative 6. Divided by 6 is negative 1. So, yung ating 39, equivalent niya is uh, negative 1. So, kung ang ating standard deviation ay 45, uh, to the right, mag a tayo ng 6. And to the left, mag-minus tayo ng 6. So, with respect to the mean, the score 39 is below the population mean. So, we can say that the score 39 is below average kasi at full siya sa negative 1. So, that's all.